Thanks for joining us today. I'm Terry. And I'm Keith. Grab your coffee, guys, yes. and let's talk. Today we're going to talk about the importance of decluttering. Or getting rid of junk. Yes. You know, for me, one of the very first things I think of when I say getting rid of junk or decluttering is that it makes it much easier to clean the house. That is so true. Like, if your house is like just a mess, yeah. like I can't clean until I first go through and pick things up and put things away. And so the less clutter you have, the easier it is to keep your house clean. And it just makes yeah. sense. The less stuff you have, the less clutter, it just makes it easier. And less time consuming. I know I normally run the sweeper more than what Terry does. And when I'm running the sweeper and I gotta stop and move something so I can run the sweeper around there, not only is it aggravating, but it's time consuming. And it's just so much easier if you just go ahead and get rid of all that junk, declutter, it makes cleaning so much faster. And then not only does it make it so much faster, there's uh, less stress, less anxiety, because things are gone that before you had to pick up or move around. So for me, it's a lot less stress when we declutter. It's, it's amazing when you have a lot of clutter the stress that that brings on. I mean, if you have a lot of clutter, you're constantly having to look for things yes. because they get lost in the sea of stuff that you have. Um, and it just, it just makes you anxious. I know my desk right now, as a matter of fact, needs to be decluttered. Yes. And when I go and I sit down, it's like, it's, it's overwhelming. Like, because, where do you start? Yes. And when you think, oh my gosh, like it makes you almost paralyzed when you see there's so much clutter and you don't even know where to start. But the thing is when, when things get that bad, when my desk gets so cluttered, before I try to do anything, I go through and I declutter and I straighten it out. And that way I can go and I can do what I need to do because just the thought of seeing all this unnecessary stuff, it makes me anxious. Yeah. It makes me stressed. Very stressed. And I can't get anything accomplished because I feel like I'm paralyzed. Mm -hmm. But always remember to start small. If your house is just a complete disaster, don't say, I've, I've got to get this house clean today. Start small. Today, I'm going to organize a drawer in my kitchen. Make it very specific, make it very small. And once you get that done, it's such a great feeling that then you feel, okay, I can do another drawer. You know, don't try to do so much in one day that it, it's just too overwhelming and you can't even think about it. Just, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. And it's the same way when our, That's true. our house gets a cluttered up mess just one step at a time and it'll get done and what i'm bad about is when i try to do something i go in there and start to do it and I, it's just overwhelming i say well this can wait till next week and then next week this can wait till the next week and then before long it's even worse so much worse that you just never end up doing it and it's a total mess it snowballs it you is. know if you don't take care of the clutter it snowballs and then and it just, it just really causes stress and anxiety. And so it's very important that we declutter. I, last time when we went and we did our yard sale, I mean, we were amazed at how much duplicate stuff that we had bought that we really didn't need in the first place. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the benefits of decluttering. Like, you know, you might think that you're at the grocery store. Oh man, I've got to get, I've got to get this because I know I'm probably about out. And then you clean out the cupboard and you find three or four. So you, that's why it's just so important that you keep on top of it. Uh, there's a group on Facebook that every year they go through their whole house. One week they do each room 
and that way your your house has gone through at least once a year and it keeps from all that clutter from yes. building up so you know if you need motivation from an outside source you know look for a group that you could join that would motivate you to you know to make you accountable to clean up yes and then another thing that i found out when we declutter and and not only is there less stress and less anxiety, but but you feel much so much better when you go to bed at night that you sleep so yes. much better. I, you know, I just don't think we realize how much clutter that we have in our lives when we get rid of that, how that just completely relaxes and de-stresses us. And so by decluttering your home, you actually find that you sleep better uh, because it, it just causes way too much stress and anxiety when we're it just does. covered up in stuff. And I can tell a big difference from sleeping really, really good for six to eight hours than when I'm continually waking up, thinking about things that I should be doing, that I got to do. And when you know that you accomplished something as far as decluttering getting rid of junk you feel so much better you sleep so much better and you can start each day off so much better yes it's just it's so important that you stay on top of the clutter and it's you know it's very healthy you know and it helps you when you do declutter that when you do clean there's less dust and dust you know for me leads to allergies and and allergies is bad here in Kentuckyana area anyway. And, and the less allergies I can have, the better it's going to be. Yes. When you have stuff, just unnecessary stuff laying around, it collects dust. It does. And you can keep your house so much cleaner and so much more dust free yeah. um, if you just keep that clutter under control. And like I said before, it can be... It can be so overwhelming. You look at it and you think, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. Start small. Start with a corner of the table. Maybe your dining room table is, is the catch-all zone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of trying to get through it all, I'm gonna do this corner of the table and get that cleared and then work on other little areas. Uh, don't try to do it all and because it is very overwhelming it, it really is our table is kind of like what you're just saying is a catch-all and we have to make sure that once a month or or so that we have to make sure we get rid of our papers that we don't need refile them uh, we have so much stuff on the table at times you know when we sit down to have coffee or something it's like okay we got to do something again that anxiety that stress because i need room for this or that and you just get you just get tightened and, and just stressed out. So yeah, we, you just don't have room to work so if, you, if it's cluttered with stuff. Yeah, so that's <laughs> one area that we have to watch ourselves to make sure that that table just doesn't get overwhelming with stuff. Yes. And to do that, we gotta stay focused. I mean, it's so easy just to keep on putting more papers here, there's junk over there, and six months down the road, you. you look behind you and think where did all this stuff come from so you need to stay focused and make sure that you have a mindset of decluttering getting rid of junk and it'll, it'll make your day so much better and it will help you be more focused mm -hmm. if you don't have all that clutter around uh you know i there's people it's not happened to me uh but people forget they forget to pay bills because their bills come in and it gets mixed up amongst all their clutter and they forget oh my gosh I haven't seen that bill I wonder what happened to it and then it's past due I mean it, it's so easy to do if there's so much clutter when the mail comes in if you don't take care of that put it where it needs to be it can easily get mixed in with a yeah. bunch of junk get thrown away who knows so it, it can just it can make you be more focused if you don't have all that clutter. Yes. And you know, the beginning of the year is a good time to say, okay, I'm going to be more focused about decluttering my life. 
That's a good goal to set. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talked about goals last time. Last week we talked and about that, goals. That would be a great goal for everybody to you know start small, but make goals each month, each week, or whatever it is best for you to declutter. And what we did is after we retired, and we're probably going to do it again here yes. soon, um, we went, we took one room a week. Um, and I think we chose a Wednesday because we didn't have our grandkids that day. Mm -hmm. And we would go through that room with a fine tooth comb. And anything that we didn't use, that we didn't want, that we didn't need, um, we got rid of. Yeah. And either, it we either put it up in the yard sale or we just gave it to Goodwill. It was unbelievable. Yeah. The stuff that we had from when our kids were little still. And it's like, why do we yes. still have this? We don't need it. And so we got rid of stuff. And oh my gosh, was it freeing yeah. to know that we decluttered and yeah. we got rid of stuff. It makes you feel scattered when you are surrounded by clutter. And it's hard to concentrate, it it's hard to focus, yes. it's hard to get anything done. So that's why it's so important that we not allow clutter to build up yes. in our house. So that's our challenge to you guys for this year, is come up with a plan of, you know, what are you going to work on? Maybe it's just a room that you need to work on. Uh, maybe it's um, your desk. You know, if there's a, a part of your home that is really an issue, yes. make it a goal of yours to go through and declutter. You just will be amazed at the stress, the anxiety that just leaves because that is now under control. So that's, that's our um, encouragement for you. Yes. You can do it uh, and it'll make you feel so much better. Thanks for joining us today for our coffee talk. If you would, please subscribe to our channel and give us a big thumbs up. It really helps us out. Mm -hmm. It helps our channel grow and we really appreciate yes. it. We'll see you next time on Retired and, and Loving, loving it. it. To see more of our videos, click the video that just popped up on your screen.